This actually does work. So yeah, let's try this. I like this setup, so. And I really like this camera. I did a review on this camera because it's really cute. I like it. You guys will probably see me working on this on the next video. So here's a quick preview. Alright, so lately I've been shipping out a lot of mugs and it's actually been a lot of fun. The very first time I shipped out a mug, I actually had it break while the other one didn't break. So I figured out a method that's basically break proof, I think. So far using this method, none of my mugs have broken. So yeah, you guys will see me use it today. By the way, I don't use the oven timer for my mugs. I just basically use my phone and set that timer. Ooh, and you guys, I totally messed up on this mug. <laughs> You'll see why really soon. I've actually been looking for ways to make this like an all over kind of mug without that little gap where the handle is. And I found a way. But I hate the smell of how it turns out. But I'll show you guys in a next video if I have time. This is simply because I want to give credit to the person I learned this from. So yeah, I want to do that in a separate video. The color is actually a little bit different. Slightly. Maybe you guys can't see that. or But I forgot to flip this one. And this one is the one that's flipped. So. And this one's a little bit sharper too. I really like this one. It came out really nice and sharp. Here's a little bit more of a close up. I really hope it does a little bit of justice to how it looks, but the it just doesn't. Like compared to how the eye sees it, the camera just doesn't do it enough justice. And it's not even focusing. Focus. Great. <laughs> I'm just writing a little bit of a note just so I don't forget what I need to do while I pack some orders. And you guys, talk about my stupidity. You see this little cutting board that I'm using? I accidentally, I didn't accidentally do it, but I was in a rush and I needed to like iron an apron and I basically ironed over it. I covered it with a pillowcase and I ironed over it and now it has like this cloudy white foam on top of it. So it looks like it's a really old cutter, but I just got it like less than a month ago. It's just, it's nuts. I'm a wreck. Especially when I'm in a rush. So now when I pack orders and stuff, I make sure I do it when I have a lot of time rather than when I have to like rush and go out and go somewhere and stuff. So yeah, it definitely helps to have more time when I pack. And I created these brand new thank you cards. And I really love them. The art on it is a little bit old since it was from last year, but it's still new since I haven't put it on thank you cards yet. So yeah. Sometimes I use a little space to write the customer's name, like so. And sometimes I don't. It really just depends on one, if I feel like it, and two, if I remember. Sometimes I don't remember to do that. And it's not a big deal because it's barely noticeable since it's in like an optional space that I just put there just in case. And with each order of course I include a bonus sticker. This one's really special featuring little gemstones. Alright and oh I didn't even finish recording this part. It just cuts off from here. Whoops. But that's fine. <laughs> Alright, so this time I'm packaging the mugs and this video is all over the place. This is the mug from, was this the mug from earlier? I recorded this on different days, you guys. Instead of like making a very short one minute packing vlog every single day, I just chose to just combine everything. Choose when I can record during the day whenever I'm packing. When I have time to record, I just start recording and you'll see me. <laughs> 
wearing different outfits throughout this video just because I'm going back and forth not even going back and forth just because some days I record some days I don't record and yeah when I have time to I'll of course try to make a little studio vlog and if I don't have the time to I just won't be able to but if you guys like these types of videos let me know I'll try my best to record when I pack and create products and stuff I made bigger cards for this mug package design just because I thought it would look a lot better. And of course, I needed to add a little sticker right there. And I just love this. I love this. And the way that this is going to be packed, it's basically almost crack proof. I think it's almost crack proof because if you just like hurled it down like a building or something and had a car smash it it'd probably break but if you literally threw it against the ground like pow it would not break this is the new method just so customers don't say my mug's broken in the mail because the usps robots are just they're ruthless when it comes to breaking these mugs just ruthless also make sure you have insurance on any and all of your fragile items and if you guys watched my last packing videos I recently showed how I get my shipping labels and this is going to ship out priority mail by the way all my mugs basically ship out priority mail you can ship them out first class if they're a little bit lighter but priority mail is like ideal and you get insurance if you have pirate ship I highly recommend pirate ship by the way, fragile stickers aren't actually for the USPS workers because a lot of these are handled by like machines, bots, rather than the workers. So this is mostly for the customers so that when they get the package, they know that it's a fragile item. Yeah. This is a little bit extra. You don't have to add a sticker to your outside box, but just for a little bit of decoration, a little bit of spice, I did that. Yes, yes. When I don't have my shipping label out yet, I just write a note just so I know which mug this is. And I'm just going to make some more and more and more mugs. And I'm not going to be talking much after this. And I hope that's okay. I hope that's fun. I hope you guys like talkless videos after I've basically mouthed off your brains. So, yeah. I'm sorry. I say yeah way too much just because I have nothing to say. Yeah is basically my go-to word for um, 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 um. <laughs> Anyways, this video must go on.
Another packing pillow at the top. Mainly packing pillows. Alright guys, so that is actually pretty much it. I tried my best to record as much as I could, but a lot of times I did these all the way at like 10, 11, 1 a.m. in the morning when I had time and I was just so tired I couldn't keep going. So hopefully um, next time I can make it a little bit longer for you guys or something. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and